You're watching today. This is the final hour of our Thursday edition here on ENCA TV Channel 43 with me, Dan Moyane. Good afternoon. Struggle stalwart Dr. Esso Pahad has been laid to rest in Johannesburg today. Pahad was an active member of the ANC and the South African Communist Party during the liberation struggle. He went into exile in 1964 after being banned from all political activity by the apartheid government. After the country's first elections in 1994, Pahad worked closely with the then Deputy President Thabo Mbeki. And when Mbeki became president in 1999, Dr. Pahad was appointed minister in the presidency. Muloko Muloto attended the funeral. He's joining us now live to give us a wrap of the end of this service. Good afternoon, Muloko. It's been a long day, but it's been a beautiful send off. Dr. Esso Pahad, beginning at home with dignitaries after dignitaries from the ANC, from government, family and friends coming to pay their respects at the home. Then later on, we had the special official funeral where you are at the West Park Cemetery. The ANC had its section, the state had its part, and then the family and the religious community uh, had its part. How did it go? Well, indeed, uh, Braden Moyani, a befitting funeral, um, declared uh, the official funeral category two by the acting president, Paul Mashatile, as uh, the mourners uh, came here to bid their farewell to Esop Pahat, who at some point, as he said, was a member of a cabinet during the presidency of Tabombeki. We heard from the minister in the presidency, Dr. Nkosazana Jamini Zuma, saying that he has now transitioned to the afterlife and saying that he has joined a galaxy of uh, what she calls the heroes. I just want to ask my colleague, Mohamud Sidduki, to show you where he is lying. That gentleman there is moving away from uh, the grave where Dr. Esau Pahad was laid to rest. Uh, just behind or in front of uh, his grave is uh, the grave of uh, Jesse Yasmin Duarte, who passed on when she was the Deputy Secretary General of uh, the African National Congress. She died on this month last year in uh, 2022. And I think uh, it was a, a day after or a day before John Matera, a, a poet and another a, a struggle veteran, also breathed uh, uh, his last. And some of the people who are buried around here include uh, the musician and another freedom fighter, you Masikila, but also uh, Ahmed Kathrada is one of the people who are buried here at uh, the West Park uh, Cemetery. But I want to bring into this conversation, Braden, the Deputy Minister of, uh, or in the Presidency, Mr. Kenny Morolong, thank you so much uh, for your time. He's your, he was your homeboy. You both come from the Northwest, Swart Rechens. Uh, I beg pardon, you'll correct me there. But uh, uh, as someone who comes from that part of uh, the country, what would you remember about uh, Esa Pahad? Well, uh, he hails from a small town. Uh, in the northwest called Swaizarenake. Uh, that is where Esop uh, Gulamp Pahad was born. Uh, we will remember him as a hero, as a quintessential patriot, an exceptional South African who was committed uh, to the noble cause of the freedom of our people. He will be remembered by all and sundry for having joined the struggle at a very early age. Here lies a man who at the age of 15 was part of the Congress of the People in 1955, notwithstanding the fact that he was too young to be a delegate uh, at the Congress of the People. So we will remember him for his exceptional contribution to the struggle, uh, for having made immense sacrifices uh, towards the destruction of apartheid. We will remember him for his work uh, in mobilizing the international community against apartheid segregation 
uh, which was declared a crime against humanity by the United Nations General Assembly. Yeah. He has played his part, of course, uh, when he was in government. And, uh, of course, uh, a lot of people might have views there as to, uh, with regard to his track record. But the likes of yourself are in government. Now you are in the National Executive Council as Deputy Minister. Is his sacrifice that you are talking about really well appreciated among your colleagues in government to, to a point where you are saying, let us be selfless and, 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 and prove it indeed, not only in words. Well, undoubtedly we look up to him and his generation, a generation of distinguished freedom fighters. And we look up to him with respect to their noble deeds and acts, and we will continue to emulate his footsteps. And undoubtedly we remember him for being a communicator by excellence. We remember him for his deep convictions. Uh, we remember him for his uh, belief in the ability of, of our government to fundamentally alter the circumstances under which our people live. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Kenny Morolong is the Deputy Minister in uh, the Presidency. You would recall, Braden, that uh, Esop Pahat was Minister in the Presidency during the time of uh, Tabombeki. He's now been laid to rest with uh, his uh, people of York. Yeah, it was a beautiful send-off indeed. Thank you very much, uh, Muloko Muloko. This is just a wrap of the funeral. It is over now. And uh, Dr. Esso Pahad, who's been described in many words and now described as a hero, is now lying to rest at the West Park Cemetery in Johannesburg.